season is here and our region continues to get drenched. During the past seven days, we've seen more than 13 inches of rain in Cape Coral and Fort Myers, more than six inches in Punta Gorda, and just under a foot of rain in Naples. Now, people in Cape Coral are still struggling with water. A portion of Northeast Cape is still on a one-day watering restriction. So what is it going to take to put the water woes behind us? Wink News reporter Jillian Haggerty joins us now live in Cape Coral. And Jillian, you spoke to some experts at the FGCU Water School about these issues. What did they tell you? Russ, when I spoke with Rachel Rotz from FGCU, she told me when everyone's trying to use the same aquifer at the same time, it doesn't necessarily mean you're running out of water, but the pressure of that water is moving in all different directions under the ground, trying to get up, so it's just going to move very slowly. It's not just the drought that's creating the problem, it's the increasing population and the competition for water. This means when you and your neighbor, who both struggle with water, are trying to use it at the same time, it's like drinking a milkshake through a straw. The pressure makes it harder to come out. And that's decreasing that pressure in the system and causing difficulties for houses to get that water out. We could have rain every day for the whole entire summer and we're not gonna see an improvement in the aquifer because it just isn't connected with the surface. But for Howard Bartels, who lives in North Cape Coral, he says the problem is being made worse. It, it's frustrating to see them just issuing building permit after building permit and not seeing what it's causing for the people that have lived here. And as the community keeps expanding and growing, Howard says... Instead, it's just the almighty dollar of getting as many houses as they can here. And, you know, they're, they're building roads, they're building sidewalks, they're building parks. Why don't we use that money and divert it and put the water in instead of building an amphitheater or whatever they're spending their money on, our money on. <laughs> now with the heavy rain we did have last week, you can see the grass around me is looking a little bit greener, but from what Howard Bartels told me, this grass is gonna soon be looking yellow and dry once again. Reporting live in Cape Coral, Jillian Haggerty, Wink News. All right. Thank